Welcome back to part two. Um, in this video, um, I'm gonna be moving the koi from the outdoor pond to the indoor pond in the outbuilding and um, see how I go about doing it. A lot of people um, can't believe I had a pond under this, this building. And, um, so I thought I'd do this video to show you how I do it. Um, it, it does make it easier the fact that um, the building is off the ground um, four foot the garden's on different levels so I was able to, to achieve this um, I know for some of you that's got flat gardens it's uh, it would be quite difficult but um, if you dig the hole and put a building over the top of it you can do the same effect and uh, put a false floor in so yeah here's part two um, hope you enjoy it and uh, see you after okay so i've turned the pump on now um, and hopefully it's going through the filter come out Should come out these pipes here. There is two. Yeah. There they are. There's a two. Oh, oh, it comes. So that water there is coming direct from the pond. Oh, yeah. The main pond. And then when it gets so high, I'll see if that pump works there still. If it does, happy days. If not, I'll transfer one of the pumps from the other pump. Okay, see what happens. Right, so the, the water from the pond down there is uh, coming up through here. Now I've got two valves down there, one shut, and that is from the indoor pond. And that one's open, that's coming up from the outdoor pond. So when I've got enough water in there, I'll swap the valves over, and then the pump in the indoor pond will start pumping through the same line. Going through here. And then there's the pipes are connected to go back into the indoor pond and then there's some pipes under there with the jack mat in there they go back on next summer next spring so there we go that filter there and serves both ponds just by opening one valve Well, it's night time now, and um, it's uh, two days on. I've put half filled it with uh, pond water from uh, outside, and now uh, I'm filling it through the dechlorinator and uh, the rest of it, and then I'll run it for about a week and then put the koi in. Unless it gets cold, colder sooner, then the temperatures will be too big of a difference from inside to outside, so I'll get them in sooner. But I think it's got to warm up a bit next week, so it should be okay to do it then. Yeah. All going well. Tomorrow I'm going to be moving the koi from the outdoor pond to the indoor pond um, it's the 9th of November it's 
quite warm for the time of year, about 12 degrees. Weather up and about. This one's looking a mess with all the leaves. It's a forever ending job trying to get them out. A lot of them sunk as well, so it'd be good to get them out of here and get them into the indoor pond. So, um, we keep um, forecasting snow and a big freeze coming. But I believe that when I see it. So if I get them in the indoor pond tomorrow, whatever happens, happens. At least they'll be in. Let me see how that goes. I'm gonna miss uh, looking at them out of the window. Gonna be a um, bear a pond really, no fish. I go put fresh water in, I go clean the pond out and then put fresh water in and leave it like it for the winter. I won't be running nothing, maybe an air bubble, air ball thing, but that'll be it. So it don't look so desolate. Because this time last year I started on revamping this pond. Um, it was a big long job this year. It's not going to look like a building site outside the window. It's the next morning. I'm all ready now to transfer the fish over. The filter room, I've been cleaning a bit of filters and that. And what I've done is got me a made backy shower from down the main pond and brought it up to this pond. So that can work through the winter. It's not running at the moment as I'm still filling up this pond here. And what I'm gonna do is do a um, PP dip. I always do that going in and coming out of this pond. So they get it twice a year. Hopefully it'll help. Some might say, what a waste of time. But it's no harm in uh, trying anything. But yeah, pond's looking good. It's 11.9 in here, the water. So, um, uh, down the bottom is about 11. It's not far out. So yeah, time to transfer the fish. When I get that filled to the top, pop the bulbs over down there, and then it'll all be running and get them in today. I'll, I'll give you an update when they're in there. It's been a long day. Uh, I've got the koi in now. Everything seems happy enough. All had a few feed it. Bit of fork left there from uh, the net as I put the koi back in. And the feed feed. And it all seems happy enough. Put it under the floor there. I'll let the, that dry out and then I'll shut the doors on that in. Apart from one door. Got the um, backy shower up and running. Looks good. Doing the job. That's in the pond out down through here, through this system. As I think the bottom thing is blocked up with leaves. Uh, I've got to do that one. Go so far. I've got PP in there. I'll chuck the rest of the PP in there. Um, I'm going through the um, moving bed filter. It's being pumped up. I'm cleaning them out at the same time. Um, get that 
done as well. Drain all the water out for the winter. We go down to the main pond now. It's a mess. Mm, there we go. What a mess. So, gonna give that a clean up in the next few days. They're all dry out. Give it a good clean. Very quiet around your area of water, stop running. But yeah, that is mucky. Um, what I should have done is put some um, answer reading um, in there in about August to get rid of all that green because it started coming back in about like, October. So I think I should have done two doses would have kept it clean. There we go. We learn by our mistakes. Get all that cleaned up. Wait for all the leaves to drop first. Still got a long way to go. Okay, it's done. That's it. Great weather we're having here. Um, I decided to jet wash the pond out and get all the algae out, get it clean, let it dry up. These are only showers we're having at the moment. Um, so when they're dried up, when they're gone, get it all clean. And I may refill it. I don't know. Should go over. Right well, that's the way I've done it. Uh, that's how I made the indoor pump. Um, and that's how I transferred the coil over. I think it's a good system. It means I get to clean the pond out uh, once a year and they get into uh, fresh fresher water twice a year um, so yeah keep some warmer in the indoor pond um, the indoor one isn't heated uh, I've uh, I've just done it so it doesn't freeze over um, the other day the temperature dropped to about uh, one degrees and then uh, inside it was about three degrees and then the temperature rose outside to about seven degrees but inside stayed at three degrees so i think that's better if the koi um, stays at the same temperature even though it was colder inside the room it, it stayed the same temperature so um yeah i was quite pleased with that really because uh it's instead of it fluctuating up and down and causing problems it stayed the same um as you can see i filled the um outdoor pond obviously the fish ain't gonna be in there but um, I filled it up because uh, I've had a few different advices uh, one said keep it empty um, I was debating it I did want to fill it for the winter so there's some water in there anyway to make it look better um, but I put it up on one of my groups um, show me your koi and pond group and I said um, I didn't know whether to leave it empty or, or fill it up. Um, someone came on with some great advice. They said fill it up straight away because if water gets down behind the liner, you're going to get problems. You, know, you get up bubbles and uh, it's going to be hard to get them out. So that was a good bit of advice really because my garden's on a slope as you can see. Um, and if water runs down that slope, it's going to get a uh, under the liner and cause me problems so yeah i'm happy to fill it up and keep it filled up for the winter and then um, next spring i'll empty that water out transfer half of the water from the indoor pond into the outdoor pond and then top it up with fresh water and i got a clean pond again to start the season so yeah if you're able to do something like that um, i'd recommend it it's a good system uh, I've done it for three years now, uh, haven't had a problem, but 
Um, yeah, so that's my indoor pond and uh, I'd like to see you on the next video next week and um, if you'd like to subscribe that'd be great click like I've got a lot more to come and uh, yeah a few of them are into uh, parks like this one this one was a two part um, something goes into three parts but I'm gonna show you everything I do in my garden so keep tuned